Well, many people are packing up the car and they're heading on vacation, but some are skipping the beach and taking a voluntouring vacation instead. CBS2 charity contributor and philanthropic advisor Lisa Dietland is here to tell us all about voluntouring and do good vacations. Now, first, explain the difference, Lisa, because this is very interesting. I read about something like this. Gosh, about seven years ago, right, in Town and right. Country magazine. It's they, something that is very popular, and immediately I said, I want to go to <laughs> India and do this. This is phenomenal. It is, because we say right now that half of the Americans say that they want, baby boomers especially, say they want to do this. They want to have a volunteer experience. Mm -hmm. Volunteering is a mini peace course stint. You are going to go to a third world or developing country. Mm -hmm. You think about Nepal, you think about Brazil, Peru, China, Russia. You're going to go someplace like that and you're going mm -hmm. to work alongside the local residents, the community, and you're going to help build things. You're going to build a school, you're going to build a church, you're going mm -hmm. to fix the water system. And you can stay from one to 12 weeks to do that project. Versus a do-good vacation is about going on a European vacation and doing charitable work, meaning you're going to raise money for a charitable cause. You're probably going to go off the beaten path. You're going to work with an outfitter, and you might even spend a couple of nights in a historic castle in Scotland mm. or Spain or Ireland, but you're still raising money for a cause. It's a fantastic way to do something good and also learn about a local culture, but how do you start? How do you know, you know what avenues to research and find the experience that's going to fit you know what you're thinking of doing. Great question, great question. Well, first of all, you have to find a reputable organization. I suggest always searching the internet and making some phone calls. I did a simple search before coming on today, and I found three that met my criteria, which was crossculturalsolutions.org, globalware.org, and globalvolunteers.org. And all three of these are nonprofits that do nothing else but arrange these trips. Hmm. And here's the exciting part they're tax deductible Get that. because you're doing work for right. charity. You don't need a special skill. You don't need to speak a foreign language so you can't say, well, I don't speak Portuguese. I'm not going to go mm -hmm. to Brazil. You can go by yourself or think about this. Take your family and take multi-generations of your family, your kids, your parents, and you. Because no special skill set is needed, mm -hmm. you can all go and work and have that experience. Now, first of all, what's a typical trip like? And also, do you have to kind of prepare beforehand getting certain shots or making sure you have certain documentation prepared? Well, you do. And the organizations that you work with will help you identify what is the vaccinations and what are the shots and that you need to have. But two trips that I thought were really fascinating was one by Green Force in South Africa. For mm. six weeks, $2,100, that includes Gosh. meals and accommodations, you're going to rescue penguins and rehabilitate the seabirds and their uh, habitat. Another one for $2,500, two weeks in Nepal restoring temples, working with local community folks and uh, local architects. Gosh, it's phenomenal. Lisa, again, as always, thanks for the great advice. Oh, happy to be here. Oh, fabulous, fabulous idea. Take a trip. Have an adventure of a I lifetime. I want to. I really do. <laughs> Thanks so much, Lisa. Happy. And you know what? For more on the volunteering and do good vacations, go to Lisa's top five tips. Head to CBS2Chicago.com and click on Morning News.